Hey everyone, and welcome back to our weekday devotions here at Calvary. What are you afraid of? Now, one of my first chapels that I had the privilege of leading was during my early field experience at Zion Lutheran Church in Rhinelander, Wisconsin. And the chapel was about darkness. And the demonstration I had to give is how you can't see anything when you're in the dark. And I asked the kids what they were afraid of. And as you would guess, I would get the classic answers of snakes, clowns, um, and of course the dark. Uh, people don't like being in the dark. Your mind can play tricks on you and make you think that things that are there aren't really actually there. <clears throat> and ultimately, it, no one likes it. Uh, the darkness is the unknown. People don't like the unknown. It's scary. Some people feel like they can embrace the darkness, though. There are these things called darkness retreats, which we recently found out about, and it manipula manipulates their brain. Ironically enough, these people are going to these retreats trying to shed some light on a dilemma that they're having while finding it in the darkness. Why would you sit in darkness hoping it will lead you to light? We live in a sin-filled world full of sinful people. It's a dark world filled with sadness and heartache. We see terrible things happen on the news day after day. And we see people living in darkness and they don't even know it. We may not be afraid of the dark like we were when we were younger, but when we are afraid of the unknown and we're, in, we're worried about things that happen in this world, essentially it's being afraid of the dark. So who's the one who breaks the darkness? The answer is simple and wonderful. It's God and his word. In Psalm 119, verse 105, he tells us, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path. God's word is the light that we need in this dark world. In a world that, in, in his word, is that beautiful gospel. The message that Jesus lived a perfect life in our place, washed away all of our sins, and then through his suffering, death, and resurrection, won for us eternal life. Jesus showed perfect love to lighten this dark world. And even more, he wants us to share that love with others. Matthew 5, 14 through 16. You are light of the world. A city located on a hill cannot be hidden. People do not light a lamp and put it under a basket. No, they put it on a stand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light shine in people's presence, so that they may see your good works and glorify your Father who is in heaven.